Hey everyone, it's Tuesday the 8th of October and the time is currently 11.30 in the morning and today I've got a box of die cast to have a look at. Yep, um, I picked this box up about half an hour ago actually from the die cast guy. Um, so I thought we'd have a look at that, I've not actually been through the box, I can only literally just see what's on the top here. Um, I've also got a couple of lorries here that I got from the local community charity shop yesterday and a freebie from the diecast guys, so we'll have a look at that as well. And, uh, first I think we'll take a look at the lorries and then we'll go through the box. So these are just one pound each. So I've got the um, Corgi Cadbury Flake truck, which is a Sedan Atkinson. Not in bad shape considering it's loose. We've got both doors still, which is good. We have got one horn missing from the roof, but that doesn't bother me. I mean, if I want to make it look even, I could just snap the other one off. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was happy to pay a pound for that. And in fact, Thursday, I've arranged to meet a guy who lives out of town. I saw these um, advertised on Marketplace, actually. Um, only because he's three miles out of town and I haven't got any transport at the minute. Um, but he said, you know, he was in town Thursday anyway. But he had four of these corgi trucks up on Marketplace. So uh, I'm going to get those. They were two car transports. I think one was boxed. A BP tanker and a Lynx truck. And then, in case anybody doesn't know what Lynx is, it's Axe body spray and shower gels and whatnot. I don't know why we have to call it something different here. Everywhere else around the world, it seems to be called Axe. Britain, Lynx. Someone explain why? Does anyone know why? It's like Walker's Crisps, though. Everywhere else around the world seems to call it Lays. We call them Walkers. And they originated from this country as well, so... For some reason, everywhere else around the world changed the name to Lays. I don't mind the name, I'm just... I'm really curious as to why the name was changed though. Anywho, I'm digressing. My second one was a mismatch matchbox convoy for a pound. I mean, yeah, the trailer's sun damage, I should think, has been on display for a while. Got both doors, XP Express parcel systems, with the wrong um, cab on it. But I'm sure if I hunted around on eBay, I could probably find a cab for that. This cab is a Taylor Woodrow. I'm not sure what trailer would go with this. I'm thinking the big tipper trailer. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to have to do a bit of googling I think. Because you never know if I look on eBay I might just find the trailer for it. So yeah they were a pound each so I couldn't resist those. Um, yeah, anyway, this is the freebie that Diecast guy gave me. A little uh, Corgi Junior's Whiz Wheels. Apparently they're Hot Pants series. Um, Ford Capri Dragster. So, just like the Matchbox Dodge Charger and the Volkswagen Beetle and whatnot, the body comes up and then you've got that bit to stand it so you can uh, display it like that. Although I did find one slight issue with this. It's the exhausts on the engine. If I do that, the exhausts hold it up. <laughs> so to close it, you got to sort of just gently push those exhausts in so they go past the doors and then close it. So yeah, only a, a tiny issue. Oh, and I did notice that the stand pokes out of that back window. But to be fair, that just looks like part of the roll cage. In fact, that could be part of the roll cage. Hang on. Is it? Oh yeah, it is part of the roll cage. My, my mistake. I thought that was the end of the... Uh, body stand. Right, so in this box, you know you see the lid of it at the minute, there we go, there's a bit of a mix. I've seen Corgi, Matchbox, some nice ones in here which actually caught my eye, that's why I bought it in the first place. Um, but I've not actually been through the whole thing yet, I've only looked at the top. Um, 
I actually like doing that because you do get to see my genuine reaction when I do see something I like. So, I'm going to start with this one. The obligatory uh, eight-wheel crane. This one's actually in really nice condition. I think this one will be kept. But I've got quite a few of these now. Including what's in my scrap box. Um, so I think I'll have to go through the ones that I want to keep as part of the collection and just you know decide which one I do want to keep because I don't need like ten of the damn things. <laughs> Pardon me. Right. Now we've got this Lotus. And anyone with a good memory may remember that in that large bag of die cast I got there was one of these. And I think this one might be in better condition. So I'm going to compare it and decide which is the better one and probably probably eBay the one I don't want because I don't think the other one was in bad, bad condition and it has its windshield like this one does so that's always a bonus so many of them lose the bloody windshields right now when I saw these, I thought I had two identical ones, but there is a few small differences. So these are two major Oldsmobiles. One of them differences may not be showing up that well on camera. One should be quite obvious, it's the wheels. And the other one is actually the windows. This one's got amber tinted windows. I have a, ah, you can see it a bit better that way. See, that one's got the clear. And I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but this one is an ever so slightly lighter shade of blue to that one. And I'm pretty certain I've already got one of these in my one of my boxes of Majorette, which is a little bit rougher than these. And for some reason in my head, I'm thinking it's a darker blue as well. I'll have to find that one up. But if it is a matching blue and matches one of these, I, you know, as an absolute identical, then I'll probably get rid of that one. That's a quite tidy example of this little Corgi Mercedes, or Corgi Juniors. Is that 300E or something? 240D. Way off. I've got I don't know how many versions of this now, including this blue. This is in better condition though, so I believe the um, identical one I've got. And that one is up on the shelf in the bedroom, so they all get swapped. Now I'm not sure who made these. I think it's Ertl. seeing anything anywhere on them but I have got a few of these little tractors I've got a Massey Ferguson and an International as well now a YouTuber I watch I've actually watched a video from him for a long time for a few months actually it's called George Saunders he used to have a, I'm pretty certain it was one exactly like this a TW35 um, if he still had it I would have sent him this to go with the tractor but he sold that I'm sure that was a TW35, it was, some, it was very similar to that. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this because I've got several of these Dukes of Hazard Dodge Chargers. I just lost the uh, Confederate flag from the roof though. I suppose I could do some custom paint jobs. My idea of a custom paint job is just to take it apart, paint it a different colour, put it back together again. <laughs> so I have got a few of them. I did toy with the idea of spraying this one black and then gluing a supercharger or something to the hood, you know, and make a replica of Dodds. Dodds? <laughs> Dodds. Dom's Dodge Charger. Not Dodds Dom Charger. <laughs> you know, from um Fast and Furious franchise, but I... I don't think this is the same year. I could be wrong though, I'm not good at um, telling the year of American cars, especially muscle cars. 
or any American car act. I don't know how some of these um, car enthusiasts do it. Ooh, experience, I suppose. They've learned, haven't they? They've learned, they've learned what differences to look for. Right. This one I was actually glad to find. It's Matchbox Audi Quattro. Now I have got a nice example in red and brown, but my other example of this one is really, really rough. It's bad. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pleased to find this one in reasonable condition. Actually, the um, diecast guy did say a lot of these are in reasonable condition. Um, what here? Hot Wheels red lines with bent wheels, unfortunately. Other than that, it's not in too bad shape. I think the bent wheel is primarily my side at the rear. But yeah, it's a little uh, red lines. Obviously, it's going to be devalued because of those bent wheels. I know red lines um, are very collectible. Pardon me. Uh, oh, I've got some Spanish models in here as well. And this one is identical to the Matchbox version, but it's not. It's got the removable tyres like the Matchbox version, but it's just yellow, blue, with grey um, or silver wheel hubs. But yeah, this is a Spanish version of it. It doesn't even have Leslie or anything on the bottom. It's got the uh, Spanish name on it. And the same with this one. I don't think Matchbox. I think Matchbox did something similar. There's quite a lot of weight in that as well. It feels like a really decently made, quality little toy. That. So I'm going to keep those just because it's something different. Tires have moved, but they are a pig to get back on that rim. I might have to gently use a little screwdriver or something just to gently pry them on. I can see something pink in here with round white headlights and whatnot. I can't quite see what it is, but it's interesting. I'm curious, what is it? <laughs> I believe that's Homer Simpson's car. I believe I've actually got this boxed as well. Hold on, let me just have a look. You just got a 20th Century Fox. Or 2014 Fox. Yep, the Simpsons family car. Oh yeah, I didn't see it at first, but it has got the crinkle on the front fender, just like in the cartoon. Yeah, I've got this one boxed as well. So it's nice to have an unboxed one. Would have been even cooler if they had a little Homer Simpson in there, you know, in the driver's seat. Uh, what else have we got? I know I've got this in a couple of other cars, I don't think I've got it in pink. I can't remember what the car is either. Oh yes, an NSU. RO80. Another Corgi Junior's Whiz Wheels. The black bonnet. I know I've got like um, a couple of different other colours, I just can't remember if I've got the pink one. I don't think I have. This is almost a given in a box of a... Uh, a box of a random matchbox. This is a version I don't have and I've been looking for it. It's the super fast version. I've got the regular wheels version, but I'm pretty certain I don't have one with the super fast wheels. Shame it's not in better condition though. There's also a rarer version where the colours are inverted, so the cab is green and the body is yellow. Or well, the cab and the hook is green and the body is yellow. That one, I have never in my life seen that version. I've only seen pictures of it online. That's a shame, because it's not in too bad shape either, it's just missing the rear bit. <laughs> I did have a rear piece to go on one of these but that was it's the wrong colour for this and it was broken anyway. A 
here's an interesting one, to me at least. Oh, it's got an A pillar missing. That doesn't bother me though. Now, I've got like the gold coloured ones of these, but I don't think I've ever seen this yellow one. I might have one in the collection. I don't know. Ah, the green version. I've got this in red. Both a restored version and an original, in original mint condition. Now I've got a green one. A Matchbox Porsche that I actually do not have. Turbo. Turbo Porsche. I like collecting these though. I really do like it when I find one that I haven't got or not seen before. Uh, just bear with me just for a few seconds. I need to take a break. Right, I'm back. So, uh, where were we? Oh yeah, the Porsche was the last one, wasn't it? Right. There's two of these in here as well. Are these that Zilmex ones? I think they are. Hang on a minute. Bear with me. Couple of Dodge campers. I think they're Zilmex. They've only got Z on the bottom. But that's what the base reminds me of. Pardon me, made in Hong Kong. We could be wrong. Almost 176 scale though they are. And there's one for eBay. Because I've got a few of these and good examples. So, uh, let's sit over here. Um, I have to check my collection for this one. I don't know if my other one's got the side door on it or not. Another refrigeration truck, mate. All, every one I've come across since I've been collecting, all have that rear door missing. I think I've got like one which has the rear door, so it's not strictly true. Um, but that's another one that I don't really need. Oh, in that bag of die cast I got recently, there was one of these Corgis Renault 5s in there. I believe that's where it is, but this isn't where it was when I can get my words out. That's in far better condition. Oh, that's a nice looking hot wheels. Urban Outlaw. I think. I think it's a Ford. I'm going to double check, but I'm going to guess it's a Ford. If I'm wrong, I'm going to get shouted at in the comments. <laughs> Let's see, was I wrong or was I right? Is it a Ford? Ah, it's a 64 Chevelle. How could I be that far off? <laughs> Never mind. Now, I am pretty happy to see this. Uh, this one's not a Maisto. Mine was a Maisto. I'm not sure if it's NC or MC toy or HC toy. Yeah, my one was a Maisto. I lost mine years and years and years and years ago. So I was really pleased to see this little Mercedes on the top there. Because I actually loved this when I was a kid. One of my favourites. Let's just say what Mercedes it is. Maiden McCall. It's a 500 SL. It's in fairly good condition as well. There seems to be another obligatory one to find in these boxes and job lots. 
That was rather rough though, I think that one can go in the, uh, the scrap heap. I might put that in the bag for cat actually. Ooh! Quaint little uh, double decker from Leslie with grey wheels. Not one I have. Got another Hot Wheels here. Oh, it's just got Hot Wheels in some funky font on the side there. And a gold base. Custom 77 Dodge van. I've not got it in this gap. I've got it in like a purple colour. With pretty um, designs on the side. Could even be the same flame design as this, but just in different colours. I can't remember. That is a, a keeper, because I do not have that specific one. I think I have got this. All the tampo work has all worn off of it though, for the most part. But other than that, the paint job's actually better than my other one. Got, I've got loads of these, but I'm keeping this one anyway, because I just can't resist. <laughs> the old Matchbox Plymouth Fury. Most of the black paint work has actually worn off, so I could potentially turn that into a custom or if I could because white paint is in pretty good condition I could find some black and just paint those back in I'm curious I've not looked at what it is yet those wheels look like they could be corgi Possibly dinky. It's an international. International trucks of the world. That's all that's got written on the bottom. Anyone know who it's made by? Because I have no idea. Might be one I'll have to post up on the Facebook group. Uh, what else have we got? I've got that in about the same sort of condition. Missing, um, I think it's luggage or something that goes on the roof. Mm, that could go in that pile there. Kidco, 1980. Made in McCall. I was just trying to work out if it was meant to have a key go in that bag or if that's meant to simulate a jet engine or both. It's an interesting little truck though. It feels like it's mostly plastic apart from the base. No curiosity. Yep, I thought so. It's glow in the dark. <laughs> it just looked like it was that glow in the dark type of plastic, that's why I checked. As to Corgi Whiz Wheels, we're missing the um, guy out of the back there. I think I've got this with the guy. It's like a guy with a camera, I believe. Although mine did fall out once, and I have to put them back in. Yay! Another one for the box! <laughs> I had, at last count, I think, 36. Ah! Finally, a version of the caravan that I haven't got. I haven't got the blue door version and blue stripe. That's a nice find. What is this? This all this looks 176 scale.
it's plastic. Mercedes 540. It's, in English it would say wicking, but as it's made in Germany, I'm going to guess that's meant to be pronounced as Viking. As they, that's how they pronounce their W's. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that is actually 176 scale. I'm pretty certain it is. But I haven't got one at hand. Yes, I have. Yeah, it would be. Obviously, that's a much older, much longer car. That's on your little smart car, so it's going to be smaller, isn't it? Yeah, that's a 176 scale. Nice. Nice well, plastic. It doesn't matter what it's made from. As long as it looks good. And to me, it looks good. Here's one for the Ebays. And that is in very nice condition, actually. It's a Siku Jeep. I've got a couple of these already in my box of Siku. Random tire line in the bottom of this box as well. It's another Kidco, Kidco Dodge Charger. I think there is actually at least one more that I can see from here. That's Kidco. I don't know if you could really call these die casts because I've only got a metal base. The body's all plastic, but they are nice. Nice looking little toys though. The big hole on the back. I'm sure there's a key or something you could put in there and you'd fire them like across the floor. If memory serves correctly. I believe this one is a kid co. Is this a kid co? Yes, the lockups from kid co. And I'm actually surprised because this one's got all four tires. I have got several different lockups. Not this particular model, but I have got others, and none of them have got the tyres. This one's got the tyres, and it's in nice condition. That is brilliant. What does that look like? Firebird? Can you say what it is? No, just lockups. 1982 Kidco Inc. I thought the wheel was bent, it's not, it's just a wonky tyre. Nice! I'm actually happy to have one with um, bloody tyres intact. I've got a Mustang minus the tyres. Another one. Another bloody dozer. Ooh. I've got one of these boxed. Matchbox what? Oh, Matchbox Trick Shifters, 1984. Yeah, I've got one of these in the box up in the uh, bedroom. A fair bit of weight to that. Does it actually work? I mean, it's got a little wheel in the middle at the bottom. I've got a gear shifter here. Whatever this button's meant to do there. Oh, I see. Depending on where you put that gear shift, it repositions this wheel and even turns it. That feels really flimsy though, so I bet a lot of these got broken. So to find one loose and mint, I think is quite amazing. I have actually come across these where that bit has broken and that wheel has gone missing. 
Not surprising, like I said, that really does feel rather flimsy. I don't like moving that myself. It feels like I'm going to snap the damn thing. That's a definite keep. Oh, this is a nice example of this. Apparently Matchbox were doing these fantasy vehicles to combat um, Hot Wheels fantasy stuff back in the day. But yeah, that's a nice example of that. It's pretty clean and tidy. Super Cooper. 1972. Oh, nearly dropped it. It really wasn't a nice example. Ah. That's a much cleaner version than the other one I've got. Little corky uh, Rover SD1 police. With the red markings on it. Yeah, police is a little faded on the doors, but still way better than the other one I've got. Oh, now that is a nice find. I've not seen one of these for a while. I think that's a set Volvo 760. Yep. Yeah. In matchbox. In grey. And they did it in red as well. And that's uh that's in pretty nice condition. What's a little Leslie Ford Thunderbird? Missing a wheel, unfortunately. Repairable though and restorable. I'm pretty certain I've got this one, so I'll put this one on eBay's spares repairs. Someone might take it as a, a prop. I thought I'd see a double, but they're actually different colours. I've got a red NSU here as well. Now I know I haven't got the red one. Is that an NSU? No, that's no. It's not an NSU. That's um, Volvo. 1800. Dumbass. <laughs> In Volvo P1800. It's a different colour bonnet that threw me off. Another one that I'm not interested in because I've already got a couple. I can hear an alarm going off in the background and it's starting to annoy me. Like a burglar alarm. No, it's a 65, uh, number six, number. Turn up the right way so I can actually read it. Number 65 Saab Sonnet 3. Oh, is that, yeah it is, it's another Tough Tots. Don't got this one. So that's a Corvette. They make some lovely little um, toys. We look like we're missing the driver and the roof, though. Ah. Now that is a Leslie that I do not have. The E-Type Jag. This has got all four tyres as well. There's another nice find. Old-fashioned race car, nice condition, we've got the windshield still intact, the driver's still intact. I was just trying to um, figure out what it was. Lola Climax, apparently, made in Hong Kong. Okay. Burglar alarm going off, siren about to go past. A little race car. This one's had some numbers drawn on it though. Those are little Hot Wheels. Ferrari 156. Copyright 2000. Someone's drawn a number 3 on it, but I can live with that thing. OK, 
Okay, this was upside down in the box, and that's not what I actually thought it was. But it is, hang on, preferably without throwing it on the floor. The whoosh and push. I've never seen one of these. And I've never even heard of it either. And on top of that, it's not in bad shape. Got a bit of a scuff on that rear corner. No, that rear end made me think it was something else, that's all. Yeah. Happy with that. That should be a corgi, I just can't see it. It is a corgi, it's in nice condition. Guy Warrior Truck. SO fuel. I might keep that one because that one is in nice condition. I think I might have found where that loose tyre came from. Yep. And there's a second emergency vehicle about to go past. I was trying to sort this one out before I show it to you. Not in bad condition. Ooh, the Lesney race car. Still got the driver, still got the tyres. Still got decent enough paintwork. It's just got BRM written on it, number 52. Matchbox series made in England by Lesney. Another one. Well, I say another one, it's a totally different car, but it's another one in that model railway scale, double O gauge scale. I don't know who that's made by though. It's not got the same writing on the bottom as the previous one. An Oxford diecast one. So it is. And yeah, that German one is definitely 176 scale then. Awesome. That's a nice um, Hot Wheels. Diecast base, diecast body. It's a. Um, I think it's a. It's a Z28, what made the Z28? Camaro, that was it. Camaro Z28. And yes, I said Z, I'm English. It's a Corgi Mark 1 Ford Escort. I've got this, so this may get sold. I'm pretty certain I've got that. I need to know who made this and I don't even know what the car is. Absolutely no idea, let's have a look. Made by Mira, Myra. Oh, it's a Sayat 128 3P. Made in Spain. Ooh, opening doors. Nice sort of 1970s esque brown interior. It's an Espanol one. I like that. Mm. Got that. You probably tell from when I go, ugh, that's something I've already got. <laughs> I 
by this one. The classic sight hat truck. Got a blue one. I ain't got a blue one. I've got a blue one now though. Yes, my lady. That's my very poor Parker impression. Matchbox's uh, Fab One and Thunderbirds. Little, uh, sort of like a mini truck. That's actually complete. I know I've got a couple of them, but I'm going to keep that one as well, just because. Because I want to. Ouch. Oh. A few bits missing, but at least the trailer's with it. A little majorette truck. I have no idea what these trucks are. No, uh, Majorette did a few different versions of it. I know there's like canopies missing for both of those. Uh, what else we got? Matra Rancho. I thought the upper glass bit was missing, but I don't think the matchbox put it on there. So. And I can't see nowhere where that would have hinged, so... It's in nice condition as well. Well, I know it's a Datsun, but I can never remember what Datsun it is. I think I've got this in white by Majorette as well. You always tell Majorette when you look at the wheels. It's usually a dead giveaway. Two sixty Z. I wonder if there's any reason that Datsun and Nissan actually put the Z at the end of a lot of their sportier cars. Does that actually mean anything? Or did they just put it there because it sounded cool? Because it sounds cool to me, at least. I'd love to find an old Datsun like this. <laughs> but as I said before, I believe in the haul that I had the white one in. Most of them are rust buckets. I've seen several on YouTube where they've been, you know, dragged out of gardens and hedges and things and they're just they're totally rotten. It's a shame really because they do look nice motors. Another one that I don't need. I've got it a few times. I don't think I really need it for parts, so... There's a Matchbox Datsun. This one is a Datsun... Da, 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 da. Really? That was a 260Z 2 plus 2. What's the one I just had? They do look entirely different versions of the 260. But I'm not sure if it's because Majorette has done it slightly different to Matchbox or if the 2x2 is actually a different model. But even the rear ends don't look the same to me. It's in nice condition though. I think I have got a silver one but it's... Um, a little, little bit rougher than that one. I think I've got it in like a dark purple as well from Matchbox. Really? I've now got gr uh, green, blue and yellow. They're all missing the little person on the top there. 
Other than that, they are uh, nice looking vehicles. I do like those. Mercedes, like a mobile shop thing. I can't remember what they call it now. The mobile grocery shop. Yeah, it just says mobile, Mercedes mobile shop. I've already got that. Now this one I am going to put on eBay because I have got it. And it is in as nice condition as this one. It's a Hot Wheels. So you will see that one up on eBay. Here's the Corgi Juniors with wheels version of that guy warrior truck. Which I don't want. We have oh it's a majorette Renault 5. I thought this was a matchbox. I'm not surprised that majorette have done the Renault 5. They're a French company. <laughs> of course they're gonna prioritise um, their own brands of cars, aren't they? I do like the Renault 5, so I do miss seeing them on the road as well. Such a lovely little hatchback. That is in nice condition. I'm going to keep that one as well. The armoured car. One armoured car needs blue light on the roof is beyond me, but never mind. It's an E-type Jag, but who is it made by? There's no base. It's got the wheels. I mean, it's a nice looking little model. Even if it is quite basic, as it has no interior glass or base, but... A make on it? Ah, it's made by Marx. M-A-R-X. Another corgi that I don't need. A little Citroen Diane. Fairly common that one. I come across that quite a lot. <laughs> I've got a few of these little Hot Wheels Volkswagen vans, but I ain't got this one. Very sort of uh, hippie orientated. That's meant to be like a drag van. It's got the uh, anti-flip bar things on the back. I found Snoopy. In a tow truck. Any of my subscribers remember Snoopy from the Peanuts comic? Who made this though? Snoopy, C O P R, copyright 1958 to 1966. United Feature Syndicate Inc. Made in Hong Kong. Interesting little casting, that is. Ooh. I don't know if Matchbox did this uh, dumper in that colour combination. I've got it in like a horrible sort of orange and blue colour. Uh, definitely keep that one. I don't have that one. Oh, we've got another zebra coloured, 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 <laughs> Rollomatics truck here. There's another one that's in fairly good condition. I might see if I can get the canopy and whatnot for that. I've got this little dumper in that colours as well. In those colours. When I can grammar correctly. Is 
Is that another Kid Co upside down? It is another Kid Co lockups with tyres. Ooh, that is actually nice. If these were in rougher condition with the tyres, I'd have stolen them from the other ones, but I'm not going to take tyres off of a decent model like this one. We'll point out, I'm guessing that's a Firebird. Yeah, little Pontiac Trans Am Firebird. That's nice. Do doors open on this one as well? Yep. Little uh, Corgi VW Polo. I've got that. That can go in the uh, not wanted pile. Another classic Hot Wheels here. The die cast uh, um, body and base. Now the Hot Wheels here, I'm not going to keep it though. Got this Corgi Volkswagen Beetle, so that'll be an eBay one. Put these on eBay before, and they always sell. This, the Morris Minor, the Minis, they all sell. <clears throat> Not for a great deal. I think I only ever sold them for like a pound each. But they're still better than a kick in the teeth, as they say. The Majorette Refuse Truck. Classic Hot Wheels here. Is that a 55 Chevy? Yep. See, 99.9% .9 of my Hot Wheels collection is all modern stuff. I don't have much of this um, older stuff at all, so I do like it when I find those. And I got a few of these as well, which I was happy to find. Got the fire chief version of it. I've got a police version. I think I've got the one with the door that flips over to make it look like it's been in a collision. That's my second one of these I've got on the red wheels. I don't know if I really want to keep that or not. It's not really that much of an interesting vehicle in my eyes either. Put that there for now. Now I know I've got this in a red colour but not pink. Very futuristic with that sort of bubble dome for the um, driving area. Well, I've got a little bit more interesting than this. What is this? A Zilmex um, Ford Pickup Custom. Look at that. I have no idea that Zilmex did this sort of stuff. I do now. Interesting little Ford Pickup. Fantasy Hot Wheels thing. Safari truck but in yellow. I've got a handful of these so I'm not going to keep that one. Same with that, I've got a handful of these so I don't need to keep that. That's including a handful in the scrap box as well. I have got a number of tractors so I will keep the trailer and it's got its tyres. I'll put that with the uh, others. I've got this Hot Wheels so I could probably go on eBay. The Hot Wheels I've got on eBay are not selling at the minute. Or if they are, they're selling quite slowly. A very nice AMX Javelin in blue. I've got nice examples in green, not blue. That's a pretty nice example, that one. 
police motorbike. No idea who made it. Made it. Makes it though. Mains it. I thought that was some writing on the bottom, but it looks more like just a casting blemish. I think those trailers are actually uh, made red. Oh, here's the caravan that I've got quite a few of. And I've got the colour of the door wrong. I said it was brown earlier, but it's not. It's yellow. <laughs> because I was thinking the stripe was brown, and I thought it matched the door. Might make up a little uh, caravan park diorama. I think I've got enough of them now. <laughs> Ooh, we got another one. Another one. I might eBay at least one of these. I'm not going to need like two or three of them, am I? Or three or four of them, I should say. That's a Hot Wheels Ferrari that I do not have. That's nice. That in the bright orange colour. I can't remember if I've got it in bright orange. Oh, what's it called? Here? Beach buggy. I know I found one of these the other day. I was thinking that was absolutely trashed. So that's nice. <laughs> Speaking of the Matchbox Dodge Charger dragster. Lost all its stickers though, and it's sun faded. But yeah, this is the one I was talking about earlier when I was talking about the uh, yellow Capri. And of course, it's got bent wheels. They would actually make a nice custom. They always have chips. I think I did sell one of these recently on eBay with both corners chipped on it. Which I mean, you. I suppose you can either take it off or make your own up for it if you wanted to. Ah, another red Cortina from Matchbox. Keep. Now, I have got a few of these and every time I find one the condition gets better and better. I've got this, it's a Citroen or something or other estate. A wagon for um, the Americans watching. Is it a Citroen CX? Yeah, every time I found one, the condition has actually gotten better. That's probably in the best condition yet. If that keeps up, one day I'll end up with a totally mint one. <laughs> well, there goes me magnifying glass. Ah! We've got two versions of the same truck there. I've noticed they've both got the same colour cars on, they're just in different order. I think I might have this one with the grey body and orange paint, but not that one. And they're actually in fairly nice condition as well, a pair of them, so... What we've got here, I've got another one of these poxy rollers. You want what, a free roller? Another one of these little tractor shovels. I like that. I'm going to keep it. I know I've got one on the shelf over there, but I will keep another one. And here's another one of these things. Although, this hat is complete. So I might just keep hold of that, at least temporarily, because it is complete. And it's got a price sticker on the bottom as well. You're asking a little bit for that, aren't you? £1.50. Well, I'm not kidding. would be my max. Although if I was a collector just starting out I might stretch to the £1.50. But see the thing is I guess you could say I'm a well established collector so you know I don't need it so I probably wouldn't even pay a quid for it <laughs> just because I don't need it. We've really got a handful left in here now. A Mercury wagon, I think. And 
other Mercedes from Corby, the police car. I think this is now my third one. And I know for a fact the other two I've got are in better condition than that. As in, they've still got, you know, visible stickers on the doors. Uh, I might actually just keep hold of that, if anything, for the base. Because I have got some that I want to repair. That need the base is replaced because they've broke. I seem to just like chucking things on the floor. Yeah, Mercury. The two little doggos sticking out of the back. Now I can hear a bloody smoke alarm going off in the background. Right, there's a little couple of trailers in here after this. Got a shovel. I used to love these when I was a kid. And yes, I was the sort of kid that played out in the dirt with these. <clears throat> Refuse truck. Now this is actually nicer than my other one. They did a police version of this as well, so I would like to get a nicer version of that. Because my police one's not the best. Not the worst, but not the best. Right. Now apart from a random piece of plastic, which we don't need. A motorcyclist. We don't need. <laughs> All I've got left in here are three, I believe, majorette trailers. I've got absolutely no idea what these are. Yeah, these are majorette. And they have got a door in them. That's just one to go with one of their lorries. Which I've got a few of now, but not many lorries to put them with. Look at look, these. What are these meant to be? I thought like an animal trailer, but that door on the back does not look big enough for that. All it's got on the bottom is Majorette, made in France. It doesn't actually... I have no idea what these go with, either. I'm intrigued by them, though. I want some Majorette groups. A lot of the members are French. But, um... I think we rely on the uh, automatic translation on Facebook a lot, so I can still ask on there what those are. Probably one of the few features I do like about Facebook, but they've got that translate feature, which in fairness, I mean, depending on the language, it does struggle sometimes with a, a good translation, but for the most part, in my experience, it's not bad. And we better chalk this up and make note of this, because I don't often praise Facebook. Facebook, rather. Not Facebook. Uh, right, so I need to clear my desk, obviously. Quite happy with that. I was just seeing which one of these two was in the better condition, but they're both the same, more or less. Some interesting finds. I'm so glad I got that one. That seems to be the harder one to find. Because all of them, I must have a good half a dozen of them in that colour. So to find the blue one, I was pretty damn happy with. Go camping, that came off. Go camp. Stupid plastic hook. <laughs> Normally I'll take photo of them on the desk and whatnot, but there's just Far too many here. I'd have to do a couple of photos and I'm, I've still got a video to do for the gaming channel. I've still got two, three videos before this one to edit up and put up on YouTube as well. And yes, there is sort of like a weird uploading thing I did recently because uh, 
I uploaded one last Friday and then took it, was it last Friday, it might have been last Thursday, and then took it down because I'd realised I'd mixed two of the videos up, I'd got them around the wrong way. I'm going to keep the majorettes just to the side for now. I've buried one in here already. I did. I may have to go to QDs at some point and get a larger um, box for the matchbox. As I said earlier, I've got like three, three smaller boxes in the bedroom and they're all overflowing. And I've got more matchbox here and I can't get them in there because it's overflowing. That one I'm going to put down there later. Box for the buses. That's not full, not yet. Okay, another shoebox full. Um, oh, that reminds me, I've got another laptop to go and post off. Got rid of both my Apple laptops because I'll never do anything with them. wanted to though, but yeah, I'll never get to them. Right, that's it for this video then, so thanks a lot for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button please, and uh, oh, well if you didn't, hit the dislike button, and of course uh, um, subscribe for more videos like this one, and on barricade lamps, bicycles, electrical, computers, I do a bit of everything on this channel. Um, and it's totally free to subscribe. A bit of free random entertainment. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.